Hey everybody, Cruise Man here, and it's a little cold out in the garage today because it is about 48 degrees outside, a little cool. A problem I hope to have rectified pretty soon. I'm hoping this is the last in a series of videos about the Carlin Kit wireless CarPlay adapter. I made one more discovery recently, and I want to make sure to tell you about it. This video is sponsored by Cruise Man's Garage Honda Goldwing Maintenance Video Series. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope this is the last video I'm going to have to make on this topic. I think in my last video I told you I found a, a, a system, uh, a series of things I could do to get this Carlin Kit wireless CarPlay adapter to connect every time uh, by starting up the helmet right after the blue screen came on. And that's been working fine, and I'm going to keep doing that, not a problem. But I did discover there are some kind of hidden settings that you can modify for this Carlin kit adapter. And today I'm going to show you how I discovered it. The first thing I did is I tried to find an app online. I knew these settings existed, but I didn't know how to get access to them. And so I thought, well, maybe they have an app, or maybe you plug it into your computer, or, you know, I just wasn't exactly sure how to do it. I did find a video on YouTube, and even though it doesn't really explain it very well, I'm going to tell you how you connect wirelessly using your cell phone to this Carlin Kit adapter. Unfortunately, I'm filming this with my cell phone. So I'm gonna have to take it off the stand and get it down here and use it because what you can do is you can do this with your cell phone or with an iPad, any device, basically any device that has a web browser, you can connect to this Carlin Kit adapter using an IP address. Now, you will have to be on a Wi-Fi network. You'll have to have internet access to do this, obviously, but this, Carlin Kit adapter has its own IP address, and if you have a web browser, you can access it. When you type this IP address into your web browser, it's going to pull up a web page, what looks like a web page. It's basically a page of settings that lets you modify some of the internal settings of this Carlin Kit adapter. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to turn the bike on and I am going to connect this uh, Carlin kit adapter just like I would normally. I'm going to wait till the blue screen comes up and I'm going to turn on my headset just to make sure it's connected and it has power from the bike. I'm not even sure if this whole process is necessary, but that's the way I'm going to do it. Okay. I see my blue screen. I'm now hitting my so now I've connected my headset, and let's see if it comes up. Now you'll notice I'm just changing my AM channel. Now you'll notice that this screen now says GW. That's because I changed the name in the settings, and I'll show you exactly where I did that. So I do have CarPlay connected. Everything looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to more of a vertical mode on my phone because I'm going to go into a web browser. I'm using my iPhone 15 Pro standing next to the motorcycle to do this, but any iPad or any smartphone that has a web browser, you should be able to do the same thing. Now I've got three different web browsers, as you can see here. I'm going to open Safari. Once you open your web browser, rather than typing in a URL for a website, you're simply going to type in these numbers in this order. 192.168.50.2 Now once you press go, that should take you to the web page for the Carlin Kit settings. And that page should look something like this. Now, you might need to update your firmware to get it to look exactly like this. There should be a firmware update option on the screen. If you see software version, I think if you click on that, it will offer you the opportunity to update the software. 
Toward the bottom of the screen, you'll notice four icons, which are different screens that let you perform different functions. And we're going to spend our time on the settings screen. So if you click on settings, that will bring up the settings page. You'll notice you can scroll down this page and there's a large variety of different things that you can set on the Carlin kit adapter. Most of them I don't really understand. I don't know exactly what they do. I was trying to play around with a few of them, but I couldn't really tell any difference. I will point out a few that I think might be kind of interesting that I think you should look at. Of course, to turn on or off any of these settings, you simply click on the little, I call it a radio button. And like for sync mode, I just clicked that on. I turned it back off because I don't really know what it does. And by the way, if you have any additional information on these settings and what they do, please put it in the comments down below so that everybody can benefit from it. Now, one of the settings I think may be of particular interest to Honda Goldwing riders is this start delay. And by default, mine was set to zero seconds, but you can type a number in here. One of our viewers put a comment in that said this number should be set to like 10 seconds. And I'm assuming, and it's purely an assumption on my part, that this might delay the time it takes for the Carlin kit to make the connection to give you more time to get your headset to connect to the motorcycle. So I was testing this at six seconds. I think I'm just going to go ahead and type in 10 seconds, give that a try and see how it works. And I'll report back later, maybe in a motovlog to let you know if that makes a difference. But this is something you may want to try on your adapter. You can also modify the Wi-Fi name that shows up on the startup screen. You can see here I changed the Bluetooth name to GW for Goldwing, because if I did have another Carling kit for my Lexus, I would like to be able to distinguish the different names between the two. Besides the default name of Honda-E47E really has no meaning to me, so I just went ahead and changed it to GW. Now, when you make some changes and you confirm those changes, uh, you will get a message that says it could restart the system immediately. Your, your dash screen may go black and it may take it a few seconds before this whole thing starts up again and you see Apple CarPlay again, just so you know. Another setting that I find very interesting, but I haven't put it to the test yet, is one called call quality and when you click on the little arrow next to clear which is the default setting you get an option to set it to hd which i assume means high definition now i haven't tested this yet but i plan to and i'd like to know if any of you have tested this can you tell a difference in your phone call qualities by changing this setting so I'm really just scratching the surface here of what's available through the settings. Uh, put in the comments down below if you've discovered any more of these. I haven't changed anything else because I don't want to screw anything up right now. If you liked this video, do me a favor. Please give it a thumbs up. That really does help the channel. And I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Garage.